Hey y'all, it's me Slay by Jordan and the company I work with today is Beauty Forever Hair. They sent me over their highlight color straight lace front wig in 24 inches. It features transparent lace and 150% density. Fresh out the packaging, you can see it has three combs in the inside. Once again, this is a 13 by 4 lace, so you won't be able to do super long parts, but you can still achieve a middle and side part. That is the transparent lace against my skin. And this wig does come pre-plucked. This is one of those wigs that you can take fresh out the box and you don't have to do any customization to. The hair on this wig was super soft and it didn't give me any problems. This is the perfect density. It's not too thin to where you can see the tracks in between. And it's not too thick to where it's so much hair on your neck. This will be the perfect wig for summertime. So let's get into it. Now off camera, y'all already know I have to be extra. I did go ahead and bleach the knots for about 10 to 15 minutes and I did pluck the hairline some more just to give it some more, you know, give it some more flavor, you know, but you, like I said, this is one of those wigs you can take fresh out the box and you don't have to pluck or bleach the knots. I just wanted to be extra cause y'all know, y'all know me. Y'all know I gotta go the extra mile. So meet my client, Bird, isn't she so pretty y'all? We finna get straight into this sleigh. So today we'll be using our Ruby Kisses level 11. I'm gonna use the darkest shade in there and I'm gonna put that all over the lace. I've already put this same foundation on her um, ball cap off camera. So I just want to let you guys know the same foundation color I used for the ball cap, I used it for the lace as well because you want everything to blend seamlessly. And don't worry, in about a week or two, I have another one of my super detailed wig installs coming. So I can show you all my updated ball cap methods, all my new methods that I have added and everything. So stay tuned for that as well. So now it's time to position the wig on the client's head. You want to make sure that the hairline of the frontal is in front of the ball cap some. And once you get that into position, you're going to get your client to help you hold that into place. And now we're going to take our adjustable straps and we're going to tighten those and secure this wig in the back. As you can see, I removed all my combs out the wig. I love to remove all my combs out the wig because one, it lays flatter and two, I feel like those combs really aren't comfortable. If I were to leave a comb in the wig, it would be the one on the very bottom where the adjustable straps is. But the two or three that be around the back of the front, so they are not needed and they, um, they be in the way. So I just removed those out of all my wigs. If you want even more security, um, if the adjustable straps aren't enough, you already know you can go ahead and sew the wig down on the bottom braid. But today we didn't have to because this wig was pretty secure. Y'all already know we're using my favorite glue today, Boho Active. Now, when I do my ball caps, I do them to match the hairline of each individual client. So when it's time to lay the glue, I just follow that. You don't want to lay your glue across the hairline any kind of way because how you lay your glue is how the hairline of your wig will be. And since we are doing a no baby hair look today, we want everything to be flawless and look as natural as possible. And you know your hairline isn't straight across. It has dips and curves and everything. So you want to make sure that you apply your glue in that same manner. And make sure each layer that you are smoothing it out as flat as possible. You don't want any lumps and glumps. Once your glue is dry, it should appear almost like tape, like it's fully clear, no white showing at all. Now you want to go ahead and lay that lace down. As you can see, I use the teeth of my comb to help me mesh the lace with the skin. And you just want to make sure you lay that as flat as possible. 
Also a little pro tip for my beginners. Try to lay the hairline of the wig in front of the glue some. I'd rather you do this because you do not want to lay your wig down and you put it a little bit behind the edge of where you laid the glue. Because when you cut the lace off, it's gonna be a shiny line around that lace. And then when you try to go clean it off with alcohol, it's just gonna start lifting the lace. Stuff is just gonna start going wrong. So I'd rather you position your wig a little bit in front of the glue. And when we cut the lace off, you cut some of the hair. That's fine then for you to leave um, excess glue on the skin because it's not gonna be a pretty look. Now we're taking our blow dryer on high speed and high heat and we're just going to start melting that lace into the skin. This is just making sure that everything is starting to mesh together well. And once we get done doing this, I only do this for about a minute honestly. We're going to tie this down with our elastic band and she's going to go up under a dryer on medium heat just to further melt that lace on in. And now she's back from the dryer and now it's time to cut this lace. We're gonna use our eyebrow razor because it gives the most natural, flawless look. Like I said at the beginning, we're doing a no baby hair look today. So we're making sure that we cut this lace neatly and making sure we're using a jacket motion so it doesn't look like a straight line across the um, hairline. That's the dead giveaway that you're wearing a wig when you cut it like in a straight line because um, no matter how melted the lace is, how you cut it really determines if it's gonna be like unclockable or not. If you cut it in a straight line, it's gonna always be clockable because it's just gonna be clockable. But when you use like a jacket motion and you know the hair has dips, the hairline has dips and curves, it makes it look more natural. So that's why I like to always make sure I do my ball cap to match the client's hairline and I lay my glue to match the client's hairline. So that way when I cut the excess lace off, it looks like their natural hairline and it's not just straight across. Because if you don't want to do any baby hairs, you need to make sure that the hairline looks as natural as possible because we don't have any baby hairs to cover it up. And this is the hairline after I've cut the excess lace off. As you can see, it's looking really, really good right now, but I can still melt that in some more. So we're gonna do that um, in a few moments later. Right now, I'm going ahead and taking my wax stick and my hot comb and I'm laying my side part in there. In the beginning, I told you guys this is a 13 by four lace. So when you do your side part, you're gonna have to do a curved side part because you won't be able to just do like a straight back side part because the lace, it doesn't go that far back. So you kind of have to finesse your way 
with the side part, but I've worked with all types of wigs over my years of doing lace, so I know how to finesse these wigs to, um, to where you can't even tell. So yeah, when you're doing a side part with this wig, you will have to curve it to make it appear longer. So I just want you to keep that in mind. Now you want to take your favorite hairspray and you want to spray it along the edge of that lace line and you're going to tie it down with your elastic band. This is going to give you the ultimate meltdown, I promise y'all. Now y'all, I can't tell y'all the name of this hairspray. You're going to have to wait till I drop my glasses to get these, you know, what I call the celebrity lace secrets. But y'all, I promise y'all, you can use some hairspray from the dollar store and it will melt your lace there. Like you could dead, you could dead a use some Tresemme. So trust my hairspray, I promise you, and it will melt your lace in, I promise you. Just get you some hairspray. You can even use Sebastian. You can even use freeze spray, y'all. It's, it's not always about the product. Sometimes it's mainly about the technique, okay? So I don't want y'all to get so caught up on the product all the time. It's really the technique. So, honey, just get you some hairspray and spray that lace and tie it down. I am loving this color, honey, yes. Highlights look so good on fair skin, medium skin, dark skin. It just looks good on all of us, honey. All my people of color, like, it just brings out our skin tone. Just love it. So today I already knew I was doing curls, so y'all know if, if I'm doing curls, I'm going to have to layer their hair, honey. It's just a must. It makes the curls fam your face, and it just gives a more voluminous look. When you don't layer your hair and you curl it, you have to just, you have to maneuver it too much to give it the look you want. But when the hair is layered, you literally just can like, I don't know, it just makes your curls pop. I have to layer my hair when it's time to curl it. And all I'm doing, I'm just pulling the hair up at a 90 degree angle. I um, created my guideline in the um, back and then I just started taking it all the way around to the front on that side and I'm gonna take it all the way to the front on the other side. This is not a tutorial for how to layer your hair. I just wanted to put it in the video that I did layer the hair. I do have some other videos um, detail explaining like how I layer hair. And there's so many ways you can layer the hair. You don't even have to do it this way. This way, um, I'm trying to see. Did I learn this in school or something? I don't know. I don't want to say I learned this in college school and it be wrong because honestly, after you graduate college school and you get into the real world and you get into the field um, and you just doing your class, some stuff you pick up on your own. You find little cheat ways. You're not, you're not going to do everything by the book. It's just real life, y'all. I'm just telling you the truth. When you on your own and you don't have your teacher in front of you 24-7, you're going to find ways to make your job easier. And that's just the hard earnest truth. And after my layers are added in, I'm going to go ahead and trim the bottom of this hair because I want it to be um, even and thick on the bottom. And I'm cutting it in a UV shape because when you... um. Already, when you long layer cut the hair, the hair is going to fall in a VU shape anyway. So I'm just trimming the hair up in that way because I want my wig. I don't want my wig to be thin on the ends. And this is not going to mess up your layers because your layers are throughout the hair. So you're just trimming up the bottom to make it, you know, appear thicker.
And now for the moment of truth, honey. When you take that elastic band out for the last time, honey, honey, where's the lace? Somebody tell me where the lace is. I really, can somebody tell me where the lace is? I think it died. I think it died. <laughs> like, y'all, when I tell you, like, I just really love this look. Like, I don't know. I was in a good spirit while doing this video. This just came out exactly how I envisioned it. And I just enjoyed being with my friends or her hair. Like, I don't know. It just was perfect. Like, this just, I don't know. This just, this video is making me so happy. Okay? Hairstylists know when your style turn out exactly the way you want it to, like, you can't tell me nothing, honey. So that same foundation I used uh, for her cap and to put on the lace, I just took like a little small angle brush and put that in her part after I plucked it just to make the part appear some more. I'm using my T3 Micro Single Pass 1.25 um, inch curling iron. That curling iron is like over $100. I know that may seem like, you know, facetious to some of y'all, but that is the best curling iron I have ever used in my entire life. It gets so hot and it just, it creates the best curls. The T3s, they're pricey but invest in you a good curl eye because that curl eye is the truth and i spray sebastian shaper plus all over the hair just to make sure my curls have some hold to them and now i'm just curling the hair and i'm gonna pin my curl with a pin curl clip as i go because i want to um keep the definition of my curls i don't want the gravity to pull down on them and make them drop so after i curl each um piece i make sure that i pin it to the head and we just go curl this whole head honey
And once I'm done curling the hair, I do take some more Sebastian and spread it all over the hair. And I actually send my clients up on a cool dryer, like on the coolest setting, just to make sure that those um, pin curl clips, they um, are fully like cooled down because if it warm, it still can drop. So I want to make sure that all of them are cooled down. So now I'm taking these pin curl clips out and we finna get ready to style this hair out. Now when you're um, styling your curls, out, you want to make sure that you're using a wide two comb or one of those three in one combs that your mama used to use back in the day. I love that comb, I use it all the time. You don't want to use a rat tail comb because you can, um, I don't know, I feel like the rat tail combs too much on the curl out, but the wide tooth is just perfect. And I also use my razor comb too to give an even more face framing layer and you will see how I do that. Um, I really, I'm not gonna really explain that. You can see that and um. Before I comb my curls out, I'm gonna spray my beginner's on. Turn up the heat spray. It is a heat protector, but y'all already know I use it for shine and for silkiness. So let's get ready to do this comb out. This is my favorite part about doing curls because it just, this honey, it just, oh, I don't know. I just can't even explain. It just does something to my soul. So I'm gonna let it do something to your soul and I'm gonna shut up, okay? Oh, honey, child, baby Jesus of Nazareth, honey. Oh, that hair is delayed, honey. Like I said, y'all, I just enjoyed doing this so much. It just made my spirit happy. This came out exactly, exactly, okay, exactly how I wanted it to. And this just looks so good on her. Once again, this is a highlight color straight wig 24 inches 150 percent density 13 by 4 transparent lace from beauty forever hair make sure you like share comment and subscribe and turn your notification bell we're almost at 300k i got something coming